Hi guys, JC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> guys, this week's feature comes to us from Keeneland, so that must only mean one thing. Yep, it is time again for the Coolmore Turf Mile. Hey <laughs> guys, this is race 10 from Keeneland. Of course, it is set for a mile on the turf. It is restricted to three-year-olds and up. And it carries a big old purse of one million dollars. So let's get started right away. And you guys, huh? Well, before I lay it on you, <laughs> this is also for a win in your end for the Breer's Cup Mile. And with that being said, I'm liking up to the mark to win this one. I mean, to me, you guys, he really does look like the one to beat on the, in this race. You know, he mildly closed in stock last two times out. You know, he came from four and six out, respectively, to pick up back-to-back -back wins. So, of course, he's trying to make it three in a row. But what I really like is how four and five starts back. He goes like a complete banshee, you guys, all right? He came from 10 and 11 down to pick up another pair of victories, all right? I mean, he's switching his jockey from Irad Ortiz to his brother, Jose. So, if Jose is anything like his brother, he can bring up to the mark on time and hit the winner circle, you know, on time. He is trained by Todd Fletcher. So, up to the mark should do just that and be up to the mark and win on Saturday. Moving right along, <laughs> I am liking Master of the Seas and we're in second. Now, He's, you know, of course, another fantastic contender. He's got everything going for him. He's won a good handful of races, plenty of stage races, you guys, but probably the true one to beat. But, I mean, seriously, I just feel like he's, I like up to the mark's closing abilities, so I feel like he's possibly going to get, you know, caught at the wire. So I got Master of the Seas finishing second. Well, that's top three. I'm liking set piece to finish third. Now, he is also, he's truly best of the rest. All right. I mean, last time out, uh, he, he closed like a fantastic man sheep. You know, he came from 11 down to pick up an easy victory, you guys. And I mean, but what I really like, you know, another impressive start, uh, is four starts back, rather, um, another impressive close is what I was trying to say. Four starts back. He came from 11 down to finish third, but he was stuck in traffic, you guys. Now, and he still managed to make a rally, and he tried to find that winner circle, but, you know, and in that race, had there not been in a traffic jam, and he had to go around and all that business, he probably would have won. All right? And if he's same story, you know, a couple, couple more starts back, further back. Same thing. You know, traffic jam. 11 or 12 back, he finished third or fourth. So, he's a hell of a closer, you guys, if he can get around situations. Alright? So, he can, he's another one. You, you might say that he can pull the upset, too. Alright? So, I like set piece running third for you on Saturday. So, of course, that must mean your GC upset special. Hmm. Highland Estate. Guys, I've said before, and I will say it again. If you like what you see and I know what you do, please click subscribe. Please ring my bell so you never, ever miss a video. Pass my video down okay. the street and someone else is going to like, click, ring, so they never miss a video. You guys, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Premium. We'll catch you next week. Bye.